Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Study Assam. We are covering a series in which we will discuss biographies of all eminent personalities of Assam. This is very important from APSC Mains point of view, especially from Mains Assam Paper 5. Even in recent APSC Mains 2020, many questions were asked from this section. Today we are going to cover biography of Gopinath Bodoloi. Gopinath Bodoloi was a politician and Indian independence activist who served as the first chief minister of Assam. He was a follower of the Gandhian principle of non-violence as a political tool. Due to his unselfish dedication toward Assam and its people, the then governor of Assam, Jairam Das Dalatram, conferred him with the title Lokpriya. Now let's discuss early life and education. Gopinath Bodolai was born on 6 June 1890 at Roha. His father was Budheswar Bodoloi and mother Praneshwari Bodoloi. He lost his mother when he was only 12 years old. In 1909, he took admission in the renowned Scottish Church College. He then passed MA from University of Calcutta in 1914. He studied law for three years but came back to Guwahati without sitting in the final examination. Then on request of Tarun Ram Fukon, he took up the temporary job as headmaster of Sonaram High School. During that period, he sat and passed in the law examination and started practicing in 1917 in Guwahati. Now let's discuss political life of Gopinath Bodoloi. The Assam Association was the only political organization of Assam in that period. Assam Congress was formed in 1921 as a branch of the Indian National Congress. Gopinath Bodoloi's political life started when he joined the Indian National Congress as a volunteer in that year. He actively participated in the fight for independence. He was arrested in 1922 due to the active participant in the non-cooperation movement and was put in jail for a year. When the movement was called off following the Chori Chora incident, he went back to practicing law. From 1930 to 1933, he kept himself away from all political activity and got involved in various social works after becoming member of Guwahati Municipal Board and Local Board. In addition, he was constantly demanding a separate university and High Court for Assam. In 1935, Government of India Act was articulated. Congress decided to participate in the Regional Assembly election in 1936. They won 38 seats and became the party with majority in Assembly, but due to a dubious law meant to reduce the power of ministers and the cabinet, they decided to remain as an opposition party instead of forming the government. Bordoloi was elected as the leader of the opposition party. With the support of other parties, apart from Congress, Muhammad Sadullah formed the cabinet of ministers. The Congress party was gaining people's support as the government remained unaware of the basic problems of Assam. Muhammad Sadullah's cabinet ministers resigned in September 1938. The governor then invited Gopinath Bordoloi to form the government and accordingly they took oath on 21 September. His contribution as chief minister were mainly to stop land tax, stop giving land to migrant Muslims, to secure the right of indigenous people, etc. The new government did not last long as World War II began in 1939. Gopinath Bordoloi's cabinet resigned in 1940 following an appeal by Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. He was arrested again in December 1940. However, he was released before completing one year, one year in jail due to ill health. When Quit India movement was launched in August 1942, the Congress party was declared outlawed and all leaders were arrested. In the meantime, Muhammad Sadullah formed the government 
with the promise to help British in World War II and indulge again in communal activities. Gopinath Bordole was released from jail in 1944 and he straight away started opposing the government with the help of other leaders. Muhammad Sadullah then offered to discuss the matters. An agreement was reached which included immediate release of all political prisoners, removing ban on procession or meetings, correcting the process of rehabilitation of migrant Muslims, etc. In July 1945, the British announced their decision to form a new constitution for India after holding the central and regional election. Congress too participated in the election in 1946 and they became the major party in assembly with 61 seats out of 108. They formed a government and Gopinath Bordole was made chief minister unanimously. Now let's discuss Bordole's role in cabinet commission. The British government formed a cabinet mission of 1946 to discuss the demands for Indian independence. The members held meeting with the Congress and the Muslim League in Simla and Delhi. Their plan included grouping of states into three categories for selecting the candidates to form the constitutional body with Assam and Bengal in third group. Gopinath Bordoloi sensed the ominous sign for Assam in the plan as the inclusion would mean the local representatives will become minority in comparison to Bengal. That would be devastating for the rights of people of Assam. The Assam Pradesh Congress Committee decided to go against the grouping plan. Gopinath Bordole told the Indian National Congress Working Committee, Cabinet Committee and the Viceroy that the representatives of Assam will form the constitution of Assam themselves and will decide whether to join the group or not among themselves. Subsequently, the cabinet commission announced that the grouping will be mandatory for every state and they may later withdraw from the group if they want. This further complicated the situation. Bordola met the Indian National Congress leaders to discuss it with no result. He then, with the Assam Congress Committee, decided to start mass agitation in Assam. In 1947, Lord Mountbatten took over as new Viceroy. He held separate meetings with the Muslim League, Congress and Mahatma Gandhi. They decided to go for partition as a permanent solution instead of grouping. India and Pakistan became separate independent countries. Thus, Gopinath Bordole played a major role in securing the future of Assam, which would have been included in East Pakistan otherwise. Contribution of Gopinath Bordoloi as Chief Minister After India's independence, he worked closely with Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel to secure the sovereignty of Assam against China on one hand and Pakistan on the other. He also helped to organize the rehabilitation of millions of Hindu refugees who had fled East Pakistan due to widespread violence and intimidation in the aftermath of partition. His work formed the basis for ensuring communal harmony, democracy and stability which effectively kept Assam secure and progressive right up to the 1971 war over Bangladesh independence. He was instrumental in sterilizing Guwahati University, High Court of Assam, Assam Medical College, Assam Veterinary College, etc. Gopinan Bordole was also a gifted writer. He wrote several books like Anna Sakti Yog, Sri Ramachandra, Hajrat Muhammad, and Buddha Dev while in jail. Throughout his life, he was a stern believer in Gandhian principles. He led a simple life in spite of being a chief minister. Former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee conferred upon him the Bharat Ratna posthumously in 1999. A life-size statue of Bordole was unveiled on 1st October 2002 in the Parliament House by the then President of India, APJ Abdul Kalam. I hope you like this video. 
please like this video and subscribe my channel in order to receive notification of future biographies of eminent personalities of Assam. Thank you.